All right, so on this question, we have a five centimeter long secondhand watch. So if you think about it for a moment, a secondhand watch rotates smoothly. So it goes through one revolution every 60 seconds. And the question is, what's the angular speed? So if you think about it for a moment, I need to just convert revolutions into radians per second. So one revolution is equal to two pi radians, or rads. The revolutions cancel, and guys, that's how you solve this problem. So that's question A. For question B says, what is the speed at the top of the hand? Okay, so the speed is going to, you're going to want to convert your radians into meters per second, if that makes any sense. Probably be a pretty small number. In fact, yeah, it is. You're going to take, by the way, this came out to be 0 0.105 rads per second. So I'm going to take 0 0.105 rads. Now watch how I write that over a second. And I want to convert the rads into a distance. So I can say... 2 pi rads is equal to 1 revolution, right? Because that's what definition of a radian. And the rads cancel down here. And then I want to convert into the, we knew something about this, it's a 5 centimeter long hand. I can say 1 revolution, that's a circle, right? And so the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. So that's going to be equal 2 pi times r. It's 5 centimeters up here, or 0 0.05 meters. And then you get the answer to be uh, 0 0.00524 meters per second. Or possibly you may want to... Um, actually, I've got an extra zero in there. I think it's point. 0.052 meters per second. So yeah, that's how you solve the problem.